Donald Trump says his plan for the economy is simple, make America great again. That's about the extent of the specifics. Ask Hillary Clinton for her economic plan and you'll get an earful. That's according to the former top strategist to President Obama, David Axelrod. He told NPR, I don't think Hillary Clinton wants to do anything in one sentence. That's the problem, right? She wants to do things in paragraphs and pages. The former strategist says Clinton's campaign message is not sticking with voters. So how can she counter Trump's dramatic slogans with some sort of, well, policy? Maybe by turning to a larger-than-life personality of her own, like her husband. Lisa Lehrer is a national politics reporter for the Associated Press who just wrote about Bill Clinton's role in his wife's campaign. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Double-edged sword. That one always is, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Bill Clinton brings a lot to the ticket for Hillary Clinton. He remains very popular, has very high popularity ratings, not only among Democrats, but with the broader population. Uh, he's particularly good with speaking to voters in places she's had trouble uh, performing, like white voters in the South, where she's done uh, not quite as well as we've seen her do with minority voters uh, across in other parts of the country. But, of course, he has baggage, and he brings all those scandals in the 90s with which Donald Trump has said he's going to put front and center this race. He, he was always very good, and I think his critics and detractors would agree, he was very good at taking the narrative the, to the place where he wanted it. She, I think her detractors would agree, is not as good at that. And what, what she's trying to do is talk policy, while Donald Trump is trying to speak in expletives and, and, and sound bites. How in the world is she going to make that turn? How do you make people listen to policy specifics when you have this other guy over there screaming at you? That's definitely a challenge uh, for Hillary Clinton. I think there's a little bit of a debate in Democratic circles among those supporting Secretary Clinton about whether she needs sort of a proactive message of her own or whether running simply as not Donald Trump is sufficient. I think folks in her campaign believe really strongly that she needs a message and a clear message. They think they've laid one out, that she's thoughtful, that she'd uh, guide the country and continue some of the work that President Barack Obama has done. Obviously, there's a lot of people, a lot of Democrats who don't agree. You just quoted David Axelrod. He's one of them. Uh, some of those folks are hoping that Bill Clinton can help solve that problem, uh, kind of what, like what he did in 2012 when he won the nickname Messenger in Chief yeah. uh, for helping convey President Obama's message to the country. She, she slipped up a little bit, according to her campaign, when she said that Bill Clinton would be, quote, in charge, unquote, of the economy and economic matters. They've since tried to dial that back. But she gets held to words like that in a way that Donald Trump does not. And you wonder how that's going to play down the road. Yeah, it does seem like uh, there may be that Donald Trump has a little more freedom in some ways with his words, although I think folks who are supporting Donald Trump would tell you that that's not the case, as evidenced by the uh, sort of the outrage over that New York Times story this past weekend about his relationships with women. Uh, but I think she did get a little bit over her skis there by saying uh, Bill Clinton would be in charge of revitalizing the economy. What she meant to say is he would have a portfolio that would look at places that have been hit hard by the changes in our economy, like coal country, Appalachia, and he would help those communities figure out a way to, uh, to move forward and uh, revitalize their uh, their economic engines. Um, but saying that you're going to put your husband in charge of anything uh, is not what you want to be saying here. But it underscores how unusual this situation would be should she win the White House. Not only would we have the first first dude, as people like to call President Clinton, but you'd also have a, a former president back in the White House with the current president. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's all quite a thing. Hey, great to see you. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.